Hello again and welcome to the video how to build a mini guillotine. When you're done following all the instructions, you will end up with a little guillotine that looks like this one here. It's pretty small and has a wooden blade, but it will give you a good start so you see if you have what it takes to make a guillotine modeler. First, a little safety awareness. You will see photos of stupid things like this guy here sanding with only one hand. This was done only so you could see the part being sanded for it is very small. So use your head and save your fingers maybe. Now, you take a board and lay out a line as far from the edge as the board is thick. Now you take him to the bandsaw and following the manufacturer's instruction, you cut the stock. Now take the stock and cut off two rails for your frame and one crossbar for connecting them. Now you sand them out real smooth and straight using two hands. Using a square, lay out the crossbar at the spot that looks good to you and outline the crossbar onto the rails and outline the rails onto the crossbar. Take the parts to the bandsaw and cut off the little channels that you have drawn. Your parts should look just like this image here and fit just like that. Oh yes, I forgot. Do it again with a smaller crossbar at the very rear of the frame. Sorry. Now we create the legs for the hold of the table. Use the square to make sure that they are plumb. Wherever you put them, remember that you are creating this machine as much as we did. Cut off two rails for the table to slide on and attach them to the legs. This next part is kind of how you say hard. The uprights. The uprights have to have a channel for the blade to slide down. This has to be straight and consistent in width and depth. Lock the stock into the vise when using a frame saw, cut carefully down the middle. We here use a slim rasp file to finish up the channel before sanding. Lay out a bottom style on the frame top, but only glue the bottom one. Use a tree nail thing to attach the top so it can come off later. Now we're going to make six braces to hold up the upright frame assembly. Use an adjustable square to plot an angle that works for your desires and draw the lines for use on the bandsaw. To attach the braces, we use a thing called a tree nail. That is a piece of wood that's the same size as a hole that can be driven into a joint for strength. There are a lot of ways to approach the solution, so be careful. When made correctly, you should have to use a small mallet to drive the little beggars into the holes. If you look closely, you will see all of the tree nails that we use to join our guillotines. Sand them all down and then make a dowel to spread across the table frame at the back. This will be the hinge pin for the table to pivot around. So far, you should now have something that looks like this. Just a table and blade assembly to go. To make the table, you slice off a thin wafer of wood to the thickness that you like best and lay out a small bit of cut off at the end for the footrest so the poor little victim can be comfortably raised with the deaths. Next you must make with a hinge so the table can rotate on this axis you put on earlier. See how nicely they fit? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to have to finish up with the top parts when moving stuff. Cut off enough of that wafer you made earlier to draw out the blade with the ears and weights for both sides. It should be a good time for you to think about a steel blade if you wish. We won't show you how for safety concerns, but we are also certain that if you have succeeded so far, you will probably figure it out for yourself. Whatever blade options you choose, you will then glue the assembly together after making sure that the blade can slide freely down the upright frame. There are many ways to secure a string. You can screw in a small eyelet, you can manufacture a hook, or you can glue the string into a hole in the tree near like this. Now we come with the moving parts. The lever that releases a blade has a hinged end with a long tapered pin at the opposite side of the joint. As always, we use a tree nails whenever possible for hinge parts as well as structural joinery. You cannot see very well, but there is also a tree nail hole about one quarter of the way down the lever from the hinge. This metal pin you see here will go through the hole and through the hinge seen here mounted to the outer upright frame member. When you are making the lunette, be sure that the blade will pass easily through the or around it depending on your blade preferences. So, See here how the lever's pin goes into the frame and into the frame top? This will allow it to contact the blade assembly holding it in place until you execute. Install the metal pin and have fun. This design is pure fantasy, but the design elements are similar to the real thing. You can make this model as large or as small as you like. Thank you and many happy condemnations of the day.